So it's 3.30, so let me just uh, dive right into it. Um, yeah, so the agenda for today's uh, brief little session is uh, a general understanding of link open data, as well as you know where Wikidata stands and where Wikidata is being positioned in this link open data space. I also run through very, very quickly about editing and querying Wikidata. I'm not going too much into uh, the details of how to do it because I think in the earlier sessions across the hall, uh, Asaf has done a fantastic job, you know, and uh, if you're interested, there are many, many more materials online that you can actually look into. But for the benefit of some of our friends here who may or may not know what Wikidata is, I will just quickly run through this part. And then I'll talk uh, a bit deeper about Wikidata partnerships, specifically um, from a Wikimedia Germany perspective, because I'm from Wikimedia Deutschland. And for the second half of this session, I'd like to do a quick check-in with the audience to really think about, you know, um, how do you think Wikidata is relevant for different institutions all over the world, and how do you think that the community uh, will be able to, you know, uh, see the value of Wikidata? So it's more of an interactive session, so don't be shy. Uh, if you have any questions, we can always uh, talk about it at the last uh, half of this session. So a quick introduction of myself. My name is Alan Ang. Um, I'm a partner manager at Wikimedia Deutschland. Wikimedia Deutschland essentially means Wikimedia Germany. Um, there is my user name, as you can see, and I can reach by the email there, um, alan.ang at wikimedia.de. And I was very happy because I met Jackie just now. Jackie is from Smithsonian. She flew all the way here uh, at the Wikimania. So it is really exciting to see old friends and uh, uh, familiar faces. So link open data. Let me just do a quick overview of what link open data is. Um, in Wikimedia Deutschland, uh, we have about three main products that uh, the uh, link open data uh, ecosystem is trying to uh, focus on. The first two are Wikibase, Wikibase Suite and Wikibase Cloud. So what Wikibase essentially is, um, they are open source database application that allows for collaborative editing and management of structured data. Um, it sounds a bit you know, confusing, but don't worry, you will get a clearer picture of what it is soon. So Wikibase comes in two particular forms, Wikibase Suite and Wikibase Cloud. Essentially, what it means is that Wikibase is a software that is actually powering Wikidata. And if you want to have your own little mini Wikidata um, in your own repository, uh, feel free to download Wikibase or even to use the Wikibase uh, software in order to have your own wiki mini Wikidata and be connected with the link open data web. Uh, why are there two products? Wikibase Suite is actually a software that you can download via Docker install. So you will require some technical information and understanding of how to implement this. And Wikibase Cloud is actually our new uh, Wikimedia Deutschland uh, hosted service that is accessible to you know, smaller, less tech-savvy users. So what this means is that, is that you know, if you have um, if you, I mean, if you do not have the kind of uh, technical competency on how to install Wikibase uh, Suite into your own database, and then what you can do is you can upload your data set into uh, the cloud service that we provide, and it is actually a Wikibase uh, software that's powering it. So at the same time, you can also be connected with the link open data web. So you heard of Wikibase, and of course, the, the highlight of today's uh, conversation is Wikidata. So um, at Wikimedia Deutschland, you may or may not know, um, we, we are very, very enthusiastic to uh, support and promote Wikidata as part of the whole link open data ecosystem. So Wikidata essentially is a free yeah, and open knowledge graph giving users, giving you access to high quality, up-to-date machine-readable data and powers different projects such as Wikipedia. Now, I'm just reading from this because we, we as in the team at Wikimedia Deutschland, recently spent a lot of effort, you know, rethinking about 
how we can position Wikidata in the bigger scheme of things, right? Especially in the current context of, um, of uh, you know, machine learning, generative AI, you know, uh, yeah. So a lot of words here. I'm not going to bore you with a lot of words, but let me just give you the gist and essence of it. What is link open data and why is it important? Uh, we hear this term running around very often. So what link open data it means essentially is you see open data and you see linked data, right? So if you break down this link open data concept into firstly open data, open data means that data that is freely available for anyone to access and to use. Um, it means that it is you know, uh, copyright free, anyone can just use the data for their own little projects or for whatever use they intend to. And open data is important because you know, it can be used by different individuals, businesses, corporations, um, or even uh, NGOs or governments in order to, to make better decisions and to create new products and services and to help the whole world to grow as a whole, right? I mean, the whole uh, knowledge, uh, uh, knowledge work that we're trying to do here. And linked data is a way of publishing the data on the web so that the data can be easily connected to other data you know, and other information is available all over the world as well. So what linked data does is that it works by using standardized formats and protocols to link data together, thereby making it possible for the data to be discovered and retrieved in a more efficient and effective way. So think about, okay, open data, linked data. First, you must have data that is open. And in order for the world to benefit, to get more, to get understanding, to be able to access the open data, uh, we should make sure and support the concept that all open data should be linked together. So link open data, therefore, you know, is a set of principles for publishing and sharing data on the web in a way that makes it easy for data to be connected and to reuse. So the principles of LOD, which is link open data, right, include using standardized formats and protocols so that data is openly and publicly available in the whole interconnected web of information. Now, I spent some time talking about this because this is very important. Um, in our experience, when we talk to different institutions um, to, uh, to tell them, say, hey, you know, you know Wikidata, do you know Wikipedia, you know Wiki projects? Um, many institutions, organizations, they heard of Wikipedia, less so of Wikidata, and even lesser so of Wikibase. Um, but they understand this as projects. They do not understand why it is important for their organizations to become part of you know, this project. And the, the fundamental reason behind that is link open data, right? So at Wikimedia Germany, we have a vision of a link open data ecosystem, where as you can see in the middle here, um, we see Wikidata, right? It stands right at the heart of uh, the whole link open data web. And you see many, many small wiki bases here. These wiki bases, actually, um, what it stands for is that different institutions, they use the Wikibase software uh, in order for them to you know, share their database with the whole you know, ecosystem. And at the heart of this Wikidata, and Wikidata, as you can see, is connected to different mul multiple Wikimedia projects as well. So this is the vision that we have uh, at Wikimedia Deutschland and Wikimedia Germany. And this is why we are working hard you know, uh, to not only make it sure that the products, namely Wikidata, Wikibase, uh, are constantly you know, being uh, updated with the support of the community, but also at the same time, we're doing you know, uh, outreach to different institutions all of the world to inform them of link open data, inform them of the different um, projects and products that we have, and also more importantly, to develop the capacity so that they will be able to onboard these projects successfully. So let me just run through this very quickly. Um, I think it has been discussed several times about what Wikidata is. So I just want to just put it loud and clear that Wikidata is a knowledge graph. It is, if you think it's a database, you're not wrong, but a knowledge graph is you know, a higher level of a database because a database can be just a database that you know, with different 
different data sets are not connected to each other. For knowledge graph, it means that different items are connected to each other. And it is a very integral part of the Wikimedia projects that contains structured data. And what is interesting is that it is linked to many, 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 many databases, right? Catalogs and websites, etc. Like most uh, Wikimedia projects, it is multilingual, which is extremely, extremely uh, important because we believe in uh, inclusivity and we uh, want as many, many communities to come on board as possible. And it's collaborative. So what is important for us to understand is that the data that is on Wikidata are released under a public domain license, CC0, Creative Commons Zero license. And you know, it is based on statements and references, which you more or less have some concept. If you don't, that's fine. I will just give a quick overview of it later. And of course, uh, more importantly, if you have a data in a knowledge graph that is only for humans to interpret, uh, and today's day and age and time, it is insufficient. The data must also be able to be interpreted and uh, manipulated by machines as well, right? In order uh, to create value to, uh, to the world. <laughs> a few quick numbers. Uh, Wikidata was launched in uh, 20, 29, sorry, on the 29th of October in 2012. Last year, we celebrated the 10th anniversary birthday of Wikidata. So today it is, sorry, not today, this year it is actually the um, 11th year of Wikidata. And every, sorry, and on 28, 29 October this year, we are celebrating the uh, Wikidata conference that uh, Wikimedia Germany is co-organizing with Wikimedia Taiwan. Um, so if you have not seen, you know, anything about WikidataCon, just go online and just look, type WikidataCon2023, you will see more information to learn more about Wikidata. Um, as of January this year, there were more than, you know, 100 million data items and there are about 23,000 active editors with more than, you know, one edit per month on Wikidata and it is arguably the most edited uh, Wikimedia project. Uh, why do I put these numbers here? Because um, I believe that some of you here from you know, different organizations and institutions, and um, you have also have experiences in uh, dealing with data. And one of the most critical thing about you know, data is whether the data can be uh, upkept and can be updated frequently. And if you try to update your database within your own means, you find that it's not sustainable. And on Wikidata, uh, we have a very active community, uh, voluntary community, who has been doing edits and updating the data on Wikidata uh, every month. So this hit graph here is very interesting, and uh, I think it would actually serve as the uh, foundation of you know, why I'm doing what I'm do doing here. Uh, the hit graph here shows uh, the number, uh, the brighter it is, shows the origin of where the data comes from in the world. So, as you can see, um, in uh, Europe and North America, it's very, very bright, and other parts of the world, it is not so bright. So when it's not so bright, what this means is that um, the items on Wikidata are not, um, in terms of numbers, right, it's just not, 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 not reflected there. Um, and what this means is that more majority of the 100 plus million data items uh, come from the uh, 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 Europe and North America, right? Um, so therefore, you know, um, we have to do a better job in uh, trying to uh, 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 have more of our presence uh, on Wikidata so that uh, those uh, projects that are reusing Wikidata's data will be able to, you know, see and understand, uh, you know, the, the, the kind of projects that we have, right? So. So our goal say Wikidata is to give more people more access to more knowledge. It's a very important goal. Um, that's why we are, we are, I would say aggressive, but we're actively trying to reach out to different organizations, institutions uh, about Wikidata. And it's also a free and open knowledge base that can be read and edited by both machines and humans. And this is important because uh, we do not want to just, you know, um, build a product that is you know, accessible only for humans or only for machines, but actually for both humans and machines. 
And we also want to provide, provide support inside and outside the Wikimedia projects. Um, we have been working with different institutions as well to provide support for them, not only capacity-wise, but also fund some of the projects. Uh, we also want to provide you know, a free usable repository and a hub for a link open data. And this is uh, underpins a lot of why we do what we do here in Wikimedia uh, Deutschland. So this is an example of a use of uh, you know, Wikidata on uh, Wikimedia projects, for example, Wikipedia. As one of our friends, we are having, having this conversation earlier on, I just put Lee Kuan Yew here because we're in Singapore. You know, uh, we could also use other, uh, <laughs> other examples as well, right? So the info box that you see here is actually from Wikidata. And um, an example of a Wikidata item you see, um, every Wikidata item has a uh, item label. In this case, it's Lee Kuan Yew, and every item label has its own unique item identifier, a queue number that is you know, assigned to it uh, with its own unique identifier, right? And we have gone through this you know, little tutorial earlier on this morning that there's an item description, and you also can create some alias, and it's a term box, you know, that shows you the different um, the different languages where the item can be described or can be shown. Yes. So um, we have learned earlier on, and I shall not dwell too deep, but just a quick run through that um, the items uh, they are you know structured on Wikidata takes the form of a triple structure, meaning to say it has. Um, it's an item, property, and a corresponding value to it, right? So how the items are being modeled, you know, is according to this structure. I put a durian there. I mean, for those of you who do not like durian, you should try durian uh, when you're in Singapore. <laughs> yeah, one of my favorite food. So, um, for example, um, we see here Lee Kuan Yew, right, has a property instance of and the corresponding value of the instance is a human. Uh, this is important because Lee Kuan Yew is not a book, Lee Kuan Yew is not a river, uh, Lee Kuan Yew is a human for this particular item, and so therefore we, uh, we, we tag, you know, uh, attribute human to the instance of, and not a durian for sure, yeah? So it's not only uh, instance of, you can also add different properties as well, like spouse, and then there's a corresponding value of the name of the spouse. And you can also you know, add certain qualifiers to you know, qualify uh, the value that you have uh, selected, right? You know, when was the person a spouse and when did this relationship end, right? And you can also put a reference to it as well. So having all these 100 million items on Wikidata, as you could see from Lee Kuan Yew's example with a queue, uh, I, sorry, queue number of Q131248. And you also saw earlier on that Lee Kuan Yew has a spouse um, by the name of uh, Kua Gyok Chu with a queue number of uh, 1076140 and etc. etc. So what this means is that every item um, on Wikidata can therefore be linked and interconnected to each other uh, in this way. And this is how, uh, in a way, this different interesting uh, knowledge graph is being uh, developed before your very eyes. I'm just uh, a <laughs> very quick one. So, so Wikidata, we have learned over the past, I think, 10, 15 minutes or so, is made up of uh, items, for example, Lee Kuan Yew. And I've uh, talked to some of our lovely friends earlier on, you know, whichever local community you are from, and if you know of some, uh, some notable uh, people, sportsmen, uh, celebrity, or even some author, some writer, you know, some books, you know, some weavers, there has not been, uh, uh, there's not found Wikidata, so you can also create these items. I will give you a quick run through of how you can easily create an item, okay? And every item has a random and unique queue number, right? For example, Lee Kuan Yew has been assigned a Q131248. And a triple structure is used to model the data on Wikidata, namely item property and value. Now, this is important because when you are creating an item or editing an item on Wikidata, you have to think in this way, right? So additional details can also be added to the statements through qualifier and references. Um, yeah, it's also therefore important to know that items are therefore linked to each other, you know, as well as, you know, different places in other databases and catalogs, hence the name link data. Big web, yeah, link open data, right? 
So editing Wikidata. Um, so there's two ways we can edit items on Wikidata. You can do it manually, right? Or you can do it uh, not manually. So you can create a new item or you can edit an existing item. I'm not sure if it's, uh, let me see this time. Okay, maybe not. I'll just run through this very quickly. Instead of doing a demo, I'll just run through the slides, but we can do a quick demo later on. You know, just sit down in front of all of you. I can show you how to create and how to link, how to edit. So if you go to Wikidata uh, homepage, you will see this beautiful uh, site. Um, I mean, for people who are familiar with the wiki pages, we, we think it's beautiful, for, for, but for most of my friends who are not familiar, they're like, wow, this one is very, very uh, different from the usual websites that they go to. So on the left, you can see a, a create a new item. So if you click on that, then you will be um, uh, asked to say, okay, uh, what is the label that you want to create? What's the description? And then what's the aliases? And then once that's done, you can just click the blue button, create, and the new item will be created, right? Alternatively, you can also do it in a sandbox, right? A sandbox is like a safe space for you to uh, make changes or to test around certain things without actually publishing uh, what you're doing. So, so apart from manually uh, creating an item or making edits on an item, you can also do automated edits as well. Uh, we have different tools um, on the uh, on Wikidata, uh, but the more commonly used ones are the quick statements to open refine. I think we have uh, earlier on heard from one of our friends uh, who shared about open refine uh, for data reconciliation as well as uh, uh, I would say mass import, but yeah, in a way for you to uh, upload, uh, you know, a list of uh, data into a Wikidata effectively instead of just creating item by item, right? There are also other tools as well that you can use on Wikidata. Um, Wikidata Terminator, nice name, uh, mix and match, Cradle, Wikidata Fist. Um, some, most of these tools were actually created uh, and developed by members of the community and it is not uh, developed uh, by Wikimedia Deutschland, right? So we actually work very, very closely with uh, the community members to uh, you know, come together to understand uh, how we can uh, build a stronger and better ecosystem for Wikidata. So having 100, more than 100 million items on Wikidata, what is the point if uh, you're not able to query the items and data on Wikidata? Uh, just now, uh, Asaf has done a very fantastic uh, session of querying Wikidata, and I absolutely love it. I learned a lot from him. But essentially, we know that there's two ways to query Wikidata. The first is uh, through the Wikidata query service, where you will need some basic Sparkle language. Um, you know, just copy and paste and make some changes, explore. If you have got issues or questions, you want to um, do some advanced querying. There's always uh, various tutorial guides, videos available on the internet, but otherwise send me an email. I can point you to certain resources, you know, uh, or we can also uh, run a, a query, Sparkle query or workshop, you know, uh, in one of the sessions in the late future date, right? So if you do not have any uh, query, uh, Sparkle query language background, no fear. There's also the Wikidata query builder, where as you can see the interface over there, it looks fairly uh, easy and straightforward to navigate. You know, you just type in uh, whatever properties, items, uh, and then you will be able to run the query. Sorry, property items, just properties, yeah. And some of the, uh, uh, the inputs that you can have. So these are just some of the example queries that you can actually do uh, with a Wikidata um, like statues measuring more, sorry, measuring more than 30 meters in height all over the world. Um, you can also display them in different ways, you know, in different, visu visu different vis visualization, <laughs> different ways to visualize them. Um, you can do a timeline, you can do a map, you can do a bubble graph, you know, just to give you an idea of how, uh, how the different data can be represented uh, on from on Wikidata's uh, query service. So if you are interested in uh, querying Wikidata, there's um, I just put two courses here. The first was this morning session, and the next one is actually uh, 16 of August, 11:15, uh, room 309. The session name is called First Steps with Sparkle. So you can uh, feel free to join this uh, particular session if you are very interested to learn more about how to query Wikidata with Sparkle. 
now comes the interesting part. Yes, I see a hand being raised up. Uh, this is exactly what I'm going to talk about in the next slides. Ta-da! You know, Wikidata partnerships. So, very good question. Let me just pause that and see if uh, I answer your question. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yes. English Wikipedia or taken from Chinese Wikipedia, as, as simple as that, in which it cannot be, I mean, we cannot verify, I mean, where this thing comes from, because um, if they say they take it from English Wikipedia and then someone ed edits in that English Wikipedia, then we cannot trace back, I mean, from where that statement was taken from. Secondly, um, just now you were talking about Lee Kuan Yew. Of course, Lee Kuan Yew is like a single entity. It has its, its uh, name, height, alma mater, his favorite food, his spouse name, his his um, job previous job description prime minister minister it's so easy but how about going to a um, more outline kind of like topic or in in wiki data we call it like like in a high importance let's say like for singapore it's the the article of culture of singapore crime of singapore history of singapore i don't see there is enough statement in the wiki data of that particular article I mean, let's say like culture of Singapore, it's just probably like subclass of um, uh, sociology of Singapore or uh, uh, country Singapore facet of um, culture. That's, that's all. Only like, 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 like a couple of uh, statements. I mean, first of all, that one is a really high importance, him, high importance level of article in any wiki project. Let's say like culture of Singapore, history of Singapore. But then in wiki data itself, there are only like, like three, four statements. I mean, so what's, what's the point? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, what what to extract from that? Okay, um, I mean, to answer your 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 observation, right? It's not exactly a question per se. Um, for someone to to um, enrich the data on Singapore, um, you will realize that we need a uh, more a stronger Wikimedia Singapore community, which unfortunately uh, in Singapore we do not have a Wikimedia Singapore. Uh, community. There's only a handful of us, right? I think five, five people that we know of who are Singaporeans and um, active on the uh, uh, wiki projects. And most of them, or most of us are actually uh, on Wikipedia, right? And less on Wikidata. And um, this is not something that's unique to Singapore, um, but also unique to uh, this part of the world, the ESEAP region, as well as in Africa and even uh, Latin America as well, where uh, Wikipedia is a more well-known project and the Wikime Wikipedian community is actually more vibrant and not many uh, members of the uh, Wiki community really hears about Wikidata. And uh, there's this... I don't know, you can call it a psychological barrier about trying to you know, get involved in Wikidata. Um, but therein lies that little uh, conundrum that we are facing, right? So if, we, um, if the community is focusing a lot on Wikipedia and then um, English, for example, in Singapore, um, but the same article is also in different, different languages, and if one wants to make a change on this particular information on this article, then this this community member has to make a change on the different um, languages. But the way to bypass this is actually Wikidata. So that's why we are here uh, trying, we from Wikimedia Germany, as well as the Wikidata community says, hey, you know, there's such thing as Wikidata, and uh, we want to grow the community, you know, to raise awareness, uh, uh, so that, you know, more members of uh, the uh, Wiki community will hear about Wikidata, not only Wikipedia, Wikimedia Commons, you know, but also you know, where the essence of it all, the importance of Wikidata in the whole link open data web, right? So you just need to make sure that we have a very robust, oh, I would say make sure, but we try to have a robust, uh, uh, good quality data on Wikidata, and then it would actually uh, uh, have very tremendous value for all the different projects. So 
Yes, uh, Jackie. Um, wiki platform, in essence, is a collaborative <coughs> tool. So Wikidata is trying to communicate and using a structured data called RDF. It is based on RDF, but it's not pure RDF. So it is trying to convey the triple concept into the community. And to your question is that some items only have two statements or three statements, very bare minimum, because oftentimes they were generated by bot. And all they have is they they're just want to get in there and occupy a space. Now, case in point was I was um, watching a TV drama that was talking about the antiquity of Chinese culture, civilization. And uh, came to, they're talking about the dance that called Dun Huan dance. That is all um, the, the school in Beijing, a dancing school in Beijing, basically created this particular dance based on the mural on Dun Huan caves. So I was surprised that I find an entity in the system and it was generated in 2013. And for 10 years, there's only three statements. And because I was, you know, I watched this series and then there's that two episodes describing this dance. Then I went on to research because I was just interested. Then I just beef it up into, you know, maybe 10 or 20 statements. So, the moral of this is that don't get discouraged. If you have come across an item and you just think there's only two or three statements, what's the point? Well, you never know because someone else may come along behind you and beef it up. And the next thing you know, they got ingested, retrieved, and then more people come behind you and add the statement. I think the goal here for wiki environment is that get the word out and get the interest infused in people and so they can pick up the ball and that's run together. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Jackie is from Smithsonian uh, Libraries. So um, we have been working with uh, Smithsonian for a long time. Uh, whether Wikidata, Wikibase, or also other Wikimedia uh, projects as well. So, I mean, as, a, as an institution. So, we understand. Thank you for the, for the question observation. And uh, thank you, Jackie, for, for elaborating. Because it really, it, really, um, yeah, it really touches us because we really want to you know, raise awareness about Wikidata and to, uh, to get a community to, to, you know, to, to be more active on it, right? Given the the significance of the role that Wikidata is playing yeah, in the link open data web. Uh, are you okay with that? Yeah? <laughs> yeah, I mean, after this session, I'll be around. Feel free to come to me. We can, you know, have more conversation. I'm very, very happy to do that, yeah. So, um, so Wikidata partnerships. So I just want to, you know, run through very quickly uh, about this. Who are the data partners for Wikidata, right? Um, Essentially, is organizations. Yeah, um, we have colleagues who are working with the community, and uh, they are the community communication managers. Um, and for me, as a partner manager, we are really you know reaching out to different organizations and institutions all over the world uh, about uh, link open data, wiki data, wiki base. Yeah, see you later, Jackie. So. Um, in what way do organizations interact with Wikidata? Um, I just list down here in two main ways. The first is to reuse, right? To reuse the data on Wikidata, right? For their different projects that they have. The projects can be small, individual. I'm a university student. I do a project. 
or it can be a large company like Google, Amazon, Apple, you know, um, for their whatever commercial projects, yeah. Um, this is one way where institutions and organizations are actually interacting with Wikidata. The second way uh, is actually contributing, right? Um, contributing in three, three big ways. The first is, and to support us in finding mismatches on Wikidata versus their database. For example, um, if in the library's database, um, the birthday of Lee Kuan Yew is, you know, 2005, obviously is wrong. And then on Wikidata, it is actually, you know, 19 something, then there's a discrepancy. And uh, what is useful is that, you know, they can actually surface this mismatch that they have found, and then uh, we can make some changes to it and to correct the data. Or they can even contribute data, right? Um, let's say, for example, in different, some museums and archives in um, the rural area of India, which is far, far away, and they have an open collection um, that has got, uh, it's a very good, wonderful collection of the uh, indigenous uh, culture, um, but it's not shared with the world, right? They have a museum that people pay tickets to walk in and nobody really have, uh, the world doesn't have much access to it. Um, but if they are able to open up and contribute their open data to Wikidata or to be connected link open data web, then more people in the world, more institutions, more organizations will be able to have access and learn more about, you know, the local indigenous uh, culture, right? And also, of course, um, there are many, many organizations in the process of working with Wikidata, they realize that there's a lack of some tools and we want to build certain tools for Wikidata and so um, they build tools for Wikidata. Um, so who are the Wikidata reusers? You know, we have Wikidata editors, the 21,000 per month, you know. Um, Wikimedia projects, if you've seen earlier on, uh, Wikipedia, Wikimedia Commons, you know, they reuse Wikidata's data. Companies, organizations, and communities such as OpenStreetMap, big OpenStreetMap community, and they're using data from Wikidata. Uh, Mapcarta, Gov Directory, Amazon, you have mentioned Google, um, Microsoft, IBM, Orange, Telco from France. Um, I wrote them down here because I know for a fact that they have been um, different, they have different projects uh, working on Wikidata and uh, also public institutions, uh, government agencies, government projects, and even uh, GLAM uh, institutions, libraries, galleries, archives, museums as well. As we have seen earlier on uh, from Smithsonian, they have been uh, reusing Wikidata's data and working with Wikidata for a long time. Um, we have newspapers and data journalists. I've interacted with different news agencies as well um, that have uh, they have been reusing Wikidata's data in the kind of media report that they put up. You know, like for example, something happens in this that part of the in some parts of the world, and they need to know. Um, you know, uh, what is the capital city of the country, for example, and all this data can actually come from Wikidata. So we have got scientists and researchers, you know, like JSTOR Labs, Open Up Browser, for example, they have been uh, using, uh, uh, reusing Wikidata's data. And of course, there's many, many, many more. And I've put a link here to a last year's conference event that we have organized called Data Reuse Days. So at Data Reuse Days, we have um, a lot of uh, data reusers, company, companies and organizations that gave a presentation on uh, how they have been uh, reusing Wikidata's data for their different projects. So the link is here. I will share the presentation deck with everyone. And there's so many, so many more organizations and companies that we have not known of yet because there's no need to tell us if you are using Wikidata's data for your project, right? And there's no way we will know. Uh, what we do know and how we know is when some of these companies and organizations, they run to certain issues and they write to us, write to me, and they say, hey, you know, we've got some questions and issues. How do we solve this? And that's when, ah, we realized that, so you are using, you know, Wikidata's data, right? So that's how we know that. Um, if you're interested in uh, data reuse and the topic of, you know, reusers, I've uh, put in two sessions here. One is the data reuse and reuse uh, session. And the other one is uh, on 19th of August is data partnerships and future of leak open data that is taking place on 19th of August. So um, have I answered some of the questions on, you know, is Google using us? <laughs> yeah? I mean, as to how they are using us, how which of these companies are using us, we may not know for a fact, 
um, clearly how they are using. Um, but one of those examples is like, you know, uh, Amazon Alexa, you know, you ask some questions and the answers that they give the, is being put from Wikidata or um, Microsoft Bing, for example, you know, or even the Microsoft Maps. Um, they are also uh, using Wikidata's data and uh, yeah, many, many other, you know, exclusive projects that they have, you know, that we have unheard of. Yeah. Yes. You have a question there? Ah, okay. <coughs> so this might be related to the privacy of Wikidata. A few months ago, I was editing some articles about Indonesian legislative, legislative candidates, and I found out that someone in Wikidata has made uh, all the item pages for the Indonesian legislative candidates. And what's interesting in is in the data page, they put the location of the the legislative candidate. And what and more interesting is that they inferred the location of the legislative candidates based on the identity number that that the editor has obtained through the data set. They've they've apparently they've got the data through GitHub and that they uh what do you say use the github file for the wikidata is this kind of thing acceptable in wikidata and should we remove it from the data or should we just keep it because the location is not too is still broad but it used the identity number that's my question wow i mean uh i mean it doesn't sound very ethical right <laughs> to expose the location or using the identity number of uh, anybody else in this world and putting on Wikidata. Um, so I think uh, if we work based on common sense and pure you know, ethics value, the value of ethics that we have um, as a community, if we see this, I think we should just remove it. Yeah, yeah I think this is, uh, I mean, whether you are a politician, celebrity, or you're just an average person, I don't think we want you know, our identity number or location to be on an uh, uh, open platform for the world to see or to use. Yeah. So yeah, but good. Uh, thank you for raising it up and good work in finding it out because this is what the community is for, right? Uh, we are here to, to, yeah, to check and balance vandalism across different wiki projects. They are always there, um, but we believe in the you know the power of community. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So that kind of like it took me longer than I have I have a plan for. But we had about forty five minutes or so of discussing what Wikidata is, what Wikidata partnerships is about. Um, I just want to do a quick check in with everyone here. Um, now you have understand a bit deeper about Wikidata's role in the whole link open data web. Uh, you have also understood that you know there there can be hundred million items, but if nobody's reusing these items, what's the point of having hundred million items, right? Um, you also learned and understood that hey, there are many many big corporations, you know, um, even uh, uh, projects out there that are using Wikidata's data. Um, that means that your contribution or the community's contribution of Wikidata is actually has a value, right? Someone is using your, 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 the data that we have put in together. Um, but as a, as a partner manager myself, I would like to check in with the community, not only yourself, but also the wider audience next time, is that should we engage and or attract more organizational users to Wikidata? Yeah, this is one of the questions that I want to ask to think about. Just feel free to raise your hands and shout or something. You know, this is nothing formal. I'm not going to do a survey, yeah? Um, Second question which I want us to think about is, you know, should organizations contribute more to Wikidata, right? Um, because there's always this contention of, okay, you know, there are big companies who use the data of Wikidata because it's free, open source, and, but they use it commercially, you know, to, to, for their own projects. Um, they, you know, rip the people off, you know, for whatever <laughs> we can say, yes or no, doesn't matter. But, you know, should, should they contribute back to Wikidata, you know? If so, how? Right? Because some of the biggest issues and challenges that we have faced when we talk to big companies or corporations is, you know, well, I mean, it's open source, right? It's there. So we just yeah, use it. Anybody can use it, you know. Um, and then what do you want us to do? Huh? You want us to 
give you $10 million in exchange for that. So yeah, there's this little kind of uh, struggle. So what ways do you think, you know, as a community ourselves here, uh, do we like for these reusers to contribute to Wikidata? And, you know, what do you think organizational users are concerned with when they use Wikidata? Um, because when we ask questions like this, it will help us to reflect a bit more um, about what kind of data we want to put on Wikidata, right? And how would this data, even the quality of data, would enable um, uh, different projects uh, to, 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 to reap the benefits of the knowledge that we have put inside there. Yeah. So, I don't know, just, you know, if you have any comments or feelings, you know, just feel free to, to, to give a shout out, you know. Otherwise, uh, I'll be very happy to have this conversation offline if you're a bit shy. I understand that, <laughs> not a problem. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm aware that we have friends from the Philippines community here, right? Yay! <laughs> and Prim is from Cambodia, right? Yeah. Um, and Indonesia, right? And uh, where else are y'all represented? If I may just go by the room. In India? Okay, nice to meet you. Ghana, oh, Ghana, yes, nice to meet you too. Um, in India, and uh, my friend over the corner. Philippines, oh, that's wonderful. Philippines, and uh, gentleman at the back. Malaysia, oh yes, this is wonderful. Yeah, I mean, I'm a Singaporean myself, right? So, <laughs> so I think uh, we are all very uh, neighborliness. I can just give you some examples of the, the um, projects that I'm currently working on. Um, as my friends from Indonesia, you may or may not know that Wikimedia Germany has been, uh, over the past one year, um, putting a lot of funds into Wikimedia Indonesia to develop uh, the, lex the ca technical capacity of Lexims, lexicographical data on Wikidata. Um, if you're not aware of it, yeah, please, uh, please be aware of it. We are very dedicated into you know, raising the awareness of Wikidata in this region. Yeah? And I've mentioned earlier on that we are working with Wikimedia Taiwan as well uh, this year for WikidataCon and um, Ghana. Um, I'm currently working on a project with uh, the um, Dakvani user group, right? Uh, to 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 work with the Ghana Parliament, right? To uh, open up the data of Ghana parliamentarians since independence until to date. Um, yeah. So in India, we have um, we are we have a local uh, uh, colleague who's uh, in India from the um, uh, Bodhi. I'm not sure if you heard of him, Bodhi. Yeah. So yeah. So, and uh, he's also supporting us in reaching out to different institutions as well uh, about Wikidata, Wikibase, and also we are developing some capacity building as well. Um, yeah, so Cambodia, I'm also now in conversation with Prim, right? Yeah, Prim is from a uh, cultural institution. Am I right to say that? Is it culture? Is it right to, yeah, arts and culture institution as well? And so Malaysia is uh, one that I want to really talk a bit closer to. <laughs> Are you the only person from Malaysia? Wow, okay. And um, coming in Singapore at Wikimania this time, are you the only one? 20 in Singapore. Wow. Fantastic. So we should really uh, uh, have a conversation sometime. Yeah. So, so we are really trying, we as a Wikimedia Deutschland, we are actively trying to uh, uh, to to work closer with the different communities uh, to raise awareness about link open data, Wikidata, as well as uh, Wikibase, and to uh, develop the uh, capacity you know, for this as well. Yeah. So as you can see, GLAM institutions are some of the biggest uh, uh, users and reusers of Wikidata. And we really want to, you know, we need your support uh, in helping us to reach out to the different GLAM institutions as well to see how they can share their data on Wikidata or other Wikimedia projects, you know, so that um, more parts of the world can benefit from it. And we can... Where's the heat map? We can have, uh, you know, brighter spots, right? In our parts of the world, yeah? <laughs> and not just dominated by, by you know, North America and Europe, 
the data of Wikidata. Yeah. Uh, anybody has any questions or issues that you want to discuss or follow up with? Yes. So I, I think I just want to answer the question in the slide that you've presented. Like in Indonesia, we also have really a lot of Wiki, Wikidata competition because one of the biggest questions that people ask in Indonesia, like, like other Wikimedia projects, is how do we get paid? We work, we make the data, and so what's the return for us? So a lot of Indonesians doesn't understand it. So it's really hard to attract people from Indonesia <laughs> to edit wiki da data and so the way to attract people is to do competitions do rewards give rewards to people who had work so yeah it's really not a sustainable way to attract editors but so far it's going good we've had increases from wikimedia editors interested in joining wiki data as well as wikimedia indonesia Oh, this is really innovative idea of having uh, competitions. And do you give rewards, monetary rewards for the competition? Do you give prizes of like, I don't know, 100 million rupiah or something? Uh, I think it's <laughs> more of a... Yeah. Self Certificate? Yeah. Okay, that's nice. And yeah, the prize are limited. I've never seen the ones where they give money, but probably more of like stuff such as books or remunerations or... Right. Mobile data packets. Like last, yeah. last time I've, I've joined one and I was given like 100,000 rupees of mobile, da mobile data for there, to use. There you go. See? So it's, uh, I mean, it's a very innovative and creative way to try to engage the community. Um, and this is one of the common issues that we have uh, been uh, uh, facing as well. Um, for myself, it's really talking to the different. Um, Government, or government officials, right? They will say, oh, you know, why should we do that? You know, oh, you know, why do we want to do that? What's the benefits? So, but one of the, one of the, the ways that we manage to overcome and achieve some of these challenges is um, if, let's say, for example, a uh, museum in Malaysia, right? Um, uh, some parts of Malaysia, Sabah, for example, right? KK in Sabah, is they've got indigenous culture, and we want to actually encourage them to open up their archives. You know, if assuming that they are all open data, and to share the link open data web, and we need some um, local support. We can always uh, support them in applying for grants from uh, the foundation, or even apply for funds and grants from other international organizations that will help to meet this cost. Uh, we have achieved this in one 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 project in Singapore. It's called the Community Archives in Singapore from Com my community. Uh, we've supported one from Nigeria as well. In fact, um, the Nigerian Libraries project we are ongoing now to develop their capacity for um, for uh, Wikidata in order to upload bibliographic data onto uh, Wikibase and Wikidata and also uh, the Ghana Parliament project as well. So it's also funded by the Wikimedia Foundation and uh, Wikimedia Deutschland as a technical supporter. We are actually supporting them in uh, getting the grants. So uh, this is, these are one, some of the ways where we can help to address the, uh, the lack of uh, financial resource issues and questions. So I think in Philippines, this is going to be quite exciting. And uh, yeah, I mean, I look forward to, to work with uh, the friends from Philippines as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Any questions, ideas uh, you want to share? Yes, no? We have about five more minutes. Otherwise, no, I can always uh, conclude early on. Uh, sorry, conclude early and then we can all have a cup of coffee and talk over <laughs> tea break. <laughs> all right. So um, if there's no further questions or ideas, um, thank you all for the attention and thank you for sitting through this. Uh, my name is Alan once again, and oh, sorry, my email is at the front. Please reach out to me. Let me show again my email. And I would love to keep in touch with uh, everyone, uh, you know, if you have whatever ideas or if you have other opportunities or if, you know, you think that there are several ways we can uh, work closer together. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Wikimedia Deutschland is the largest uh, Wikimedia chapter outside of Wikimedia Foundation. Yeah. And 
we have about 150 people on Wikimedia Deutschland and Wikidata is actually, you know, um, we are managing and running Wikidata as well as Wikibase and of course German Wikipedia as well. So yeah, thank you. Thank you.